Hey guys, it's Erica Muller from ericamulleronline.com. Today we want to talk about setting up a sandbox for your WordPress development. This way you can work on a website design while your current site is still alive and your visitors are seeing it and you don't have to worry about developing in production. <laughs> so, first thing you want to do is log into your cPanel for your hosting. Um, these will be instructions for cPanel. It's a little different if you don't have a cPanel. Um, most do. This is GoDaddy's cPanel. Um, cPanels can look a little different in other uh, companies if you use Bluehost, uh, HostMonster, HostGator, something like that. But most of the time you'll have it separated by something like web applications or simple scripts and you'll almost always see one right away called WordPress because it's very popular. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on WordPress here from our cPanel and we're going to click install this application. Uh, we'll see what our options are. Import and existing. We're not importing anything existing. So we want to install this application. Okay, and we're going to give it a different directory. I don't want to install it on the main directory because I may have a site there right now. Okay, so let me see what this options are here. Oh, it's a WW. Okay, so I'm going to do something like sandbox. And what this is going to do, oops, I don't need the forward slash because it already puts one in there itself. There we go. So it's going to be social network today forward slash sandbox. That's where my sandbox is going to be set up. All right, um, choose the language, accept the agreement, um, create a backup and update, sure, for automatic updates. All right, and not all of your cPanels will have all these options. This is just GoDaddy does offer this. Okay, and then you can set up a username and password for your uh, WordPress install here. Administrator email, put in your own email address there. Okay, this is my blog. I'm just going to call it my sandbox. Just another WordPress site, that's fine. No on the multi site, no on limited login attempts, it's alright. Okay, oh. okay, there we go. We're going to have to click install here. And it's going to install this for us. It's just like installing WordPress for or the first time. You're just telling it to do it in a subdirectory. So what we're going to do now, look over here. Get my little email notification to get out of the way. I can click on that. There we go. Alrighty, and as you can see. It's set up at socialnetworktoday.com forward slash sandbox. I now have a place where I can play with anything I want. I could go back in there and I could click um, to install WordPress multiple times and do sandbox 2, sandbox 3, sandbox 4, like that, so that I have multiple places. And I'm still using just one URL. I'm just setting it multiple installs at a separate subdirectory. So that is how you create a sandbox. And then you can play with it as much as you want. When you have your site completely built out, you would download all of your theme files and your uploads and your plugins via FTP, download them to your computer, and then you would upload them to wherever the site is going to live on your client's you know, existing hosting or new hosting. You would upload those there. And then you would go back to your sandbox uh, control panel and you would find your database for it okay and it says that I have one database this is the user okay Oops, the user this looks a little different than where I'm usually at but you can download your database and then upload it to the new place and same. Let me go back to the cPanel because it's not quite in the right spot. cPanel. That is usually under something called phpMyAdmin. Here we go. This is where we'd go for that. 
Okay. And this shows the database that's being used for WordPress. And then you could export that, go into PHP My Admin on your new or your site where it's going to live in the future, um, where the live site's going to be, and you would import the database there. And that would have all of your settings for your menus, for your sidebars, all of that, because that's not stored in the files, it's stored in the database. So when you move, you do want to do an export and an import of your database. All right, but that's how we get started with the sandbox.